like uh, learning how to play a musical instrument. The molding of a masterpiece. Like anything, when you first start, you, you see somebody doing it that knows what they're doing and you think it looks easy. And then you try it and realize, no, it's not really that easy. And a talent sculpted through time and patience. Hi, I'm Jan Bentley. Welcome to Colorado River Pottery. Bowls, plates, mugs, all sorts of items fill the space inside this Yuma gallery. They are shelves lined with a personal touch, a potter's touch. Mostly things that people use every day. I, I love that people come in and tell me they have a mug they bought for me and they use it every day and they love it. And uh, that sometimes makes my day. I didn't actually start until I was in my 20s. Uh, got kind of a late start. Late start or not, for some 20 years now, Jan Bentley has been spinning her creations for people looking for something unique. I tend to be, I think, uh, influenced by the desert. Um, it's hard not to be when you live in Yuma. <laughs> and uh, so uh, some of the colors are, are based on things that I see when I drive to work every day. Um, the agriculture fields, the mountains, the colors change from early morning to late night, and I think a lot of that is reflected in what I do. Most of the work is done um, on the wheel. Right now I'm centering the clay. As I'm working this, um, I'm using equal pressure on my inside and outside hand. As I put an even pressure, I go all the way up the side. And now that I have it really round, I like to play with it a little bit and put the human touch. So, there it is. The wheel is only one step in a process that involves many. Not always do art and science go together, but when it comes to creating pottery, that is exactly what happens. I think more than a lot of other visual arts because, um, say for instance, a, pot, a, a painter would, um, would not mix their own colors from scratch. They would buy them in tubes and use them. Whereas potters usually end up uh, using raw materials and I, I for instance, uh, buy chemicals for glazes and mix them to uh, various recipes and for various reasons, I do it myself. You better stand back because it's a little warm yet. All they need to do now is to just finish cooling. No mass manufacturing, each piece painstakingly and passionately created. For Jan, this all reaches far deeper than being simply a business. I have people tell me all the time that they really like the the personal touch, that they don't see that in their daily life as a rule, and um, they treasure it, and I feel like that makes it worthwhile for me. And that's the power of a potter's touch.